Hey everybody. So last week I did a video on what I recommended for a starter camera and then I got some questions. So what I wanna do is address some of those questions. I'm going to use my Canon Rebel again because I think this will be the most familiar even though this is an older model. We're going to look at the back of the camera and um, we're gonna talk about just a few of the main settings and how we can play around with those settings. Okay, so get your camera out and I'm gonna pretend like you're right here with me. All right, so we are gonna have our dial on and for the purposes of this video, that's manual mode where you can control everything. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna talk about these three, shutter speed, aperture or f-stop, and ISO, okay? Now the first thing I'm gonna hit set, the first thing I'm gonna have you set is your ISO. Okay, this is your camera's sensitivity to the light. On a bright sunny day, one or 200 is fine. If you've got a darker situation happening, you're gonna need more sensitivity to keep this shutter faster. So you're gonna need um, a higher ISO. Okay, so let's set that first because we usually know if, it's, if, if we're in a dark or a bright um, space to take pictures. So if we're outside on a bright sunny day, we're just gonna leave this at 200. Okay, just a point. Now we can either, here, this knob right here is gonna help you to manipulate that or you have shortcut buttons as well that you can that will take you right to that and then you can just arrow over to the ISO that you want. Don't be afraid to play with these buttons. Then we're gonna look at our f-stop. Um, for the purposes of this video, keep it as low as it'll go. That Your lens will only let you go down to a certain amount. This one is a kit lens that came with this Canon Rebel. So it's going down to 4.5 and I'm gonna leave it at that. The lower this number, the more light you're letting in. But for right now, we're just gonna keep it as low as it can go. And this is gonna, the lower numbers are gonna give you that blurred background, which a lot of people want for portraits. And so um, your aperture or your f-stop is gonna be that middle number. Now moving on to the shutter speed. Okay, so you want this number to be higher if you have a faster moving subject, this number on the right. And so I am manipulating that with this dial right here, and that is gonna affect your exposure. So once you've got your ISO and your aperture set, then you are gonna be looking into your viewfinder to take the picture, right? And you will see this little inside your viewfinder, and you can also see it right here, um, but you will, you will see that this ticker is moving and you want that ticker to be on zero. One over 100 is not a very fast shutter speed. So if you've got kids running a race or, I mean, kids even playing, you're gonna have blur. So then what you're gonna wanna do in order to let more light in, is to go ahead and increase your ISO. So you come back over here and you're ready to change your shutter speed, which is, I'm just manipulating right here. Your shutter speed is just how long your shutter stays open. And so if we look for that ticker, see now we can have a faster shutter speed, one over 320. So we're gonna be able to capture more movement with a faster shutter speed. Our, our shutter is going to be um, not open as long. If you are um, photographing sports, you need this to be one over 500 or higher. The faster moving your subject is, the higher you need that shutter speed to be. And if you need light to make up, then you need to make your ISO higher or your f-stop or aperture, this middle number, lower. Any of those will let more light in so that you can have a faster shutter speed if you are photographing moving subjects. Now, if you have a tripod or if you are photographing a beautiful landscape scene or nature and or just a slow or non-moving object, feel free to go this slow. And then you can bring your ISO back down. Um, and so those those three, and I'm gonna go more in depth that later, but I think for right now, that's, that's a good um, summary of those three numbers and kind of how to manipulate those. Okay, I am going to shut up now. I really hope this inspired people to get out and have fun with their cameras, because that's the, that's the main goal, right? And uh, if you've got any questions as you're playing with all your different settings, message me. You can follow me on, if you go to the About section under my YouTube channel, you will see all the different links to my Facebook page, my Instagram, my uh, photography website. Um, subscribe to this channel if you wanna get updates 
on the uh, new videos that come out. I'm gonna try to do one every week based on just basic beginner lessons and any questions that you guys have given me. So I really hope this helps. Y'all have a great day.